Hello, the other week I made a wooden mallet using power tools. It worked really well, but I thought I'm gonna have another go using hand tools. I've got a nice big block of oak that's roughly the same size as my first mallet. So I'm gonna use that as a rough template and mark out where I want to cut this down. I'm going to transfer these lines around to the top so I can follow them on two sides. Now I can get it put in the vise to cut out. So as these are at an angle, I'm going to get the bit of wood at an angle so that I'm basically going to cut straight. Well, that's the idea anyway. Now I have my pull saw, I can just follow the line and get this cut out. Okay, we've got mallet head, now for the handle. I have a piece of wood left over from my other mallet build. It's 40 mil wide and I want it to taper down to 30 mil. So I'm gonna mark in five millimeters from either side at the bottom. I can get a straight edge onto the mark I've made and then onto the corner at the other end and get a line drawn. I now need to cut this taper. It's only a small amount of material that needs to be removed. I could do it with the saw, but I think I can just plane it down. The taper is cut, now I need to mark out where the mortise is going to need to go for this to handle to go into. So I'm just going to get the handle on the side and draw around it and then I can follow the lines around to the top and the bottom. The handle can now be centred and I'm going to draw around that, and that should be where the mortise needs to go, marked out. It's all marked out, and I've got the correct size mortise chisel, which I have sharpened. So now, I can get this in the vise, Use the mallet I just made and get this mortise cut. I've been working my way down from the top and I think I've reached, yeah, about halfway. So I'm gonna flip it over and do the same from the underside until we meet in the middle, hopefully. I'm through. Now I've just got to clean up these sides so that the both holes join up nicely and just fettle the fit until the handle slips in. Ah, 
Ah, that's the mortise all cleaned up. So now I'm just gonna clean up the outside of the mallet with a few passes of the hand plane. Now I can get the handle dropped down into place and I'm gonna mark around the shoulder where the handle is gonna meet the head. The squared off handle at the moment isn't too comfortable in the hand. So with my marks on there, I can take a spoke shave and just ease off these corners and shape it a little. That is feeling much better in the hand now. The last job on the handle, I think is just to take off the squareness at the top and the bottom. So I'm just gonna break this edge with a chisel. The last job is just to add my maker's mark. So I have an electric one, but as I'm going all hand tools, I'm gonna to use the one I have to heat up with the blowtorch. I'm going to get some finish on both parts and I'm going to go for some beeswax oil, same as I did on the other mallet. I'm going to get a couple of coats of this on and leave it to dry before we can get it all put together. This is all dry, so we can just get it dropped together. Let's give it a little tap in there. I think that's worked pretty well. It's not the best mortise in the world, but it seems in there pretty tight. I think it's gonna work well. So there we have it. I've made two mallets. Uh, first one using power tools, second one all hand tools, and I used the first mallet to make the second one. So it's an interesting project that Nice to do something with just hand tools. It makes a change for me. And I really enjoyed the process, so I might do some more of it. So thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons, and please subscribe for more videos. Mm -hmm.